There he is. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. TV. I'm back down in Dorchester County after the snakeheads. We've had a lot of rain the last week, week and a half. Water's cooled down a lot. That should be good news for the bite. We're gonna have pretty good conditions today. It's gonna be nice and uh, cool, relatively speaking. We had a really hot stretch at the end of July. They got the water down here really hot. Things got a little tough. But, uh, um, we're gonna have a high of about 81 degrees today. Plus all the rain, it's cooled the water off a lot. So uh, I think that's gonna be good news. Well, I'm gonna um, work a lot of spatter dock today. I'm gonna throw a lot of top water. I got this cool lure, I'll show it to you later. It's a walking bait, like a spook, but it's painted like a blunt. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if I can get him to eat the blunt. All right, y'all. Here's that bait, y'all. Check this thing out. It's painted like a lip blunt. How cool is that? This was uh, custom painted by uh, TJ Hatfield. I'll link his uh, IG down in the description. He's really talented at uh, custom painting these floors. This one here is just so unique. I saw he had it one day and I, I just had to have it. It's so unique. Let's see if the snakes like it. He wanted that blunt. Give him another crack at it. bit of resistance but as soon as I loaded up he was gone I think he felt the points oh there's my favorite see the root ball of that tree I always catch snakes right where the root ball used to be in the ground I guess it make some kind of hole in the ground but I find snake heads on that type of thing all the time there's one over on trans I've caught a snake there four out of five times I've been there this year
finessed it. I was worried about that with that beetle. Them actually being able to get it. I mean, it's pretty sizable, but those dang wings on the top of it, those pinchers that make it walk, I have a feeling they'd get in the way. But who knows what happened? He might have just missed it. Oh yeah, that's a dragon. Come on, buddy. No, 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 no. This is a big fish, y'all. This is a dragon for sure. Holy crap. That's my PB. Oh, that's my PB, y'all. That is a monster snakehead. Holy crap. That is a monster, y'all. Look at this thing, y'all. That thing is a beast. Whew. Holy shit. Oh, that's a 10 pounder for sure. Oh, that is a monster. That's my PB for sure. I've never caught nothing close to that. When I set the hook, she swam right at me. I had no idea she was that big until she got closer to the boat. Whew. She's as thick as a human's leg. She's so big, so big. Look at this thing, y'all. Look at this fish. An absolute dragon. Blinded by the light. Look how that snake choked that bait. It's so far down there. I don't even know if I can get it out. I don't know how. Oh, came right out. I don't know how she didn't cut my line. One more look at her. An absolute brute. Look at the size of this fish's mouth. For some reference, that's my fist. I got pretty big mitts, y'all. I'm gonna get a weight. It's an 11 and a half pound snake, y'all. Personal best snakehead, everybody. 11.37 pounds. If that's not worth a like and a subscribe, I don't know what is. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. How about that, y'all? My PV snake. An absolute dragon. 11 plus pound. That snake was so fat, I couldn't believe my eyes. She was so thick from her head to her tail. 
so thick. I'll get a measurement on her when I get back to the truck. But wow, on a chatterbait. If you guys are using fluorocarbon out there, you gotta use Sunline. You have to use Sunline. I've used them all. I've used them all. I used to be a Seaguar guy in Vizx, a Brazex. I used it for three years. It kept breaking my heart. I switched to Sunline two years ago. There's no problem with Sunline. I haven't had one issue with Sunline. And that was impressive for that line. That's 14 pound Sunline Assassin on this rod. And wow, y'all, that snake had choked that bait. So the line was all up in her teeth and the line held up. I got her to the boat. Wow. I'm pumped right now, y'all. We're getting a little bit of rain, but I don't care. I'm gonna try to catch some more, but my day's already made. An absolute dragon. Let's crack some more, y'all. Another good one. All right, I think we're figuring them out, y'all. Last time I was here, it was top water, top water, top water. Today it's the moving baits. There we go, y'all. It's probably another four, four and a half pounder. We're figuring them out, though, y'all. One more look at fella. He seems to have gotten my trailer. You guys out there throwing chatterbaits. I've tried a lot of trailers. This has been the best trailer. It's the Strike King Rage Menace. video on that snake look that fish looked awfully pale I'm gonna have to go back and look at the video on that I'm not even sure that was a snakehead it jumped out of the water like a snakehead but he was awfully pale he was out in the open water too it wasn't a bass it looked very long and skinny could it have been a could it have been a speckled sea trout? Way up here. Huh. I don't know what that was. I can't wait to see the video now. Probably a snakehead with a big glare on it or something, but it just did not look like a snakehead. Set the hook and he jumped and that that bait came right out man i barely felt him tap it yeah but that's the snake game That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Ooh. 
hope he didn't get me hung. Oh, where's he at? Oh, I don't feel him. That was a big fish. Man. He got my line up in that log and came off. That was a big fish. Big, big fish. Can't win them all. Chatterbait bite today. That's another good one. Another fat snake. There we go. It's quality fish today, everybody. Even the ones that got off. Quality. Fat, thick fish today. Heavy fish. I think they're uh, fattening up for their uh, second or third spawn of the year. That would be my guess. Blind? Ah, oh, you know it. Oh, right next to the boat. Whew. He hit right next to the boat. Get out of it. There's our first little guy today. But he'll eat. Chatterbait has been on fire today. On fire. Took me a while to figure that out, but I want them now.
There he is. Right where he should have been. The swim bait. That's the first one the swim bait. But they definitely want the moving baits. Top water. Not today. Number five. Number five. Good day, everybody. Come on, open up. I'm gonna let you go. I got enough meat in my cooler. I don't need you, bud. Open your mouth and you're gonna get back in the water. Little pip squeak. What are you thinking, bud? Mean little guy. All right, bud. I got enough meat in that cooler. I don't need your little ass. All right, y'all. It's about one o'clock. I gotta get out of here. I got some stuff to do this evening. I had a lot of fun today. As soon as I figured out they were on a moving bait bite, it was steady action. Got my hook set PB today. 11.37 pound snakehead. This will be one of those days I'll remember forever. That thing's a pig. I've never seen a snakehead that fat. That thing's fat. It's so fat. Well, anyway, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Until next time, thanks for watching. Hook set PB. Hook set PB.